Did you know when you went on Nightly News that you were telling a story that was not true? No. Uh, I, I, it came from a bad place. It came from a sloppy choice of words. I told stories that were not true over the years, looking back. It is very clear. I never intended to. Uh, it got mixed up. It got turned around uh, in my mind. Dominic, if this is his apology, are you buying it? Um, I, I believe Mr. Williams made a mistake, a huge mistake. But I believe in second chances. And, um, Did this do enough to provide that second chance? But I made my decision before this time. You try being interviewed by what you consider your equal colleague, and he's throwing a million uh, hardballs at you. You try doing so, that. As soon as, as I he, meet him, darling. As soon <laughs> as see, I meet him. And see if you like it. No, I'm not, I'm not saying you and I. No, no, I'm, I'm, just say, I'm just saying that you, you try being in that situation. This is a $50 million man who's been forced to take a major pay cut and a reduction. How much more? Do you want his left arm? I mean, no, what, what, but you got to be able to believe his apology, and it's got to actually move you and make you think that he... He identified what he did and, and what he did wrong, as opposed to, I'm just doing this so, and, and saying these things so that I can get the job back. And, Mr. Mayor, we have a, a tremendous history of forgiving, and mm -hmm. in some cases not forgiving, people who have done public sins uh, in the public arena. Marion Barry, the former mayor of uh, Washington, D.C., re-elected to the position. Bill Clinton had the, uh, the affair in the White House, and uh, he's m maybe the most popular Democrat in America these days. Robert Downey Jr., we forget he's a he's a hero actor now, and and he was, uh, uh, you know, had a severe drug problem. Back to politics, David Vitter on the D.C. Madams list. Uh, Mark Sanford is now a congressman. And then skipping ahead to some of those who haven't been forgiven, Elliot Spitzer and Anthony Weiner. They they went before the public. Some the of lives it aren't over yet. Some of it that's true, but some of it depends, you know, on on how repentant you are. What's your take on Brian Williams? Well, I think that was a, a painful clip to watch. Uh, on the other hand, for some odd reason, I, I, I did find it persuasive. And I think it's because, um, you know, we're all flawed. And we all sometimes tell ourselves stories. And after a while, you begin to believe it's the truth. And in a certain way, that kind of halting, uncomfortable response of his struck me as more genuine than sort mm. of a, a canned, perfectly polished mea culpa uh, designed uh, just to accomplish the purpose that you, that you stated. I think there was a sincerity there. Last, last question. Uh, Dom, do you think the Brian Williams thing ends the era of the sort of celebrity anchor where Brian Williams was going on slow jam in the news with Jimmy Fallon or going on Letterman or going on Jon Stewart? I can't imagine they're going to let Lester Holt or David Muir do that. Well, Lester Holt does not have the personality, I mean, let's be honest, of a Brian Williams. But if you think this is going to stop the celebrity anchor, absolutely not. That train left the station a while ago, and I do believe you're going to see Lester Holt. They're going to be more careful. Mm -hmm. All of us are going to be more careful in terms of those of us that speak in public, what we actually say looking at Brian Williams, but I don't think it's going to stop I anything. Mean, Quickly. Mean, meaning, no disrespect, the age of the anchor period is going out the window because the that's nightly news point. doesn't have any kind of the nearly you, you the claim that it once did. You <laughs> make us very sad. That, that's a good point, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Dominic, happy Father's Day. Have a Thank great you. weekend. Thank you so much. Did you buy the We're apology from Brian Williams? I'll answer that next week. We'll take a break. Up next, our Hudson Valley headlines. <laughs>